Hey guys, um, I've had a couple people ask me if I would make a video about, um, how I color, so, uh, I drew up these quick doodles of my character, Lafka, and, um, they're very messy, but they will be great for what we need to do today, so, okay, I'm gonna show you two different ways I go about it, um, for the first way, we're going to take the select tool and select this here, and then we're going to invert it and fill it with our base color. And this is just saving me time because I didn't close all my lines. Um, and then I'm going to take a solid pen tool and color in the bits that we couldn't get. Here we go. You can kind of see I got a little burnt out around the hand area. I just didn't feel like dealing with it, but the gesture is there and so I was happy. Um, okay, so then we're going to create another layer and um, clip it. And now, um, I'm going to link to this brush in the description. This is my kind of knockoff brush of the Gloaming brush on Procreate. I use that when I'm on my iPad, and I need, I wanted something similar for when I'm on Clip Studio, so it, you can download it for free. Um, okay. So I take my Gloaming brush, and I pick a color that's you know, slightly darker, and I like to add a lot of lush to the cheeks. Um, just kind of wherever it looks good. I really don't um, do it in like the sense of lighting and shading and stuff. I'm just adding depth in my mind. That's how I look at it to these areas to add more interest instead of it just all being flat. So like if there's big areas I tend to fill it in with a slightly darker color and I just do that all real fast. Um, and once I get all of that done I'll take um, the textured blender. Any blending tool with texture works. And then I just kind of blend where I think it looks good. It tends to be like, okay, this might be a lighting thing. From, say the light was coming from above, I tend to blend at the top so that it's a little lighter than further down. Um... And then when I think that looks good, I'll get my brush out again, pick a slightly darker color. You have to just press really lightly with this um, brush if you download it. Um, if you press really hard, it like is very dark. And I'll add that slightly darker color Again, just wherever it looks good to me when I zoom out. And then I go back in with this textured blending and just kind of smooth it out. And I like this because it doesn't take the texture away. Like, I don't know if you can tell what I'm doing, but let's get like a darker, so you can see, depending on how hard you push, it really makes a difference, and then you get the textured blender, and it, see it keeps that texture, which is nice. That's all very super important to me. I don't want to lose it. 
So. Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Um. Oh yeah, I was blending. So I'm gonna continue to blend those areas. Um, yeah, I'm not really like, this is how I naturally like to color the most. You know, if I take a commission and stuff, I tend to get a little more tight with my coloring because I'm worried about quality and like people not liking this messy stuff, but this is my happy place. This is my fun zone. I just love to color, especially when I'm having fun and there's no pressure and I'm just kind of doing whatever feels right. Um, this is definitely not like a how to color like a professional type of thing. He kind of has, he likes to bleach his hair, so I have to add a bit of darker color here. Oh, and I made another layer just to kind of keep things separated. So, like the skin, I'll go in with whatever color I think is best. Sometimes I have to experiment around until it's right. But, you know, I'm adding darker colors wherever. I think it needs it and we can clean up some of these bleeds too just like that and we'll go back to our darker colors and get our texture blender and start again my brushes change depending on my mood or if I just want to try something new, but these are pretty much what I use most of the time. But anything with some texture and opacity and blending, I'm like super excited about. And then we're going to add some highlights. I kind of drew this highlight spot in here. I don't always do that, but okay, the hair is fine for now. Um, we'll go to the shirt. Really don't know what color I want it to be, but. We'll do pink. I love pink. My brush here has so much texture that sometimes, like if you're working with a bigger size and filling in a bigger area, it can really take a minute for it to register so you won't be able to draw for a second. At least that's how it is on my computer. Maybe my computer's just bad. Okay. And then get a slightly darker color and do the same. See, I didn't really like how that looked. I don't know why, I just didn't, so. We're just gonna do that again. I guess that's better. And then we're gonna blend. It's just a lot of filling in and blending. A lot of times it's just happy little accidents. If something looks really good, I'm like, oh yeah. Here we go. No, I don't like that. Mm. There we go. And then we'll go to the eyes. forgot the dark circles. He does not take great care of himself or sleep much. He is always running around doing something. Um, 
Um, and then I really like to add a little more interest, so I'll take like one of the um, brighter colors. If I use one, like this pink for instance, and add a bit of that to around the shine area. Can even add it down here sometimes. It just kind of pulls it all together to me. And then I like to add it to the other, like the pant area. It's just, it isn't too much, but it just adds something to it to me. And this doesn't always work for everything I'm coloring in, but if it does work, I will do it. Then you can, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I'll go in and color in the lines in some areas. Oh, I almost forgot to. I don't always, but yeah, we can add a little darker color to the ear since it's not getting a lot of light. And yeah, so this is like a really messy, just having fun coloring thing I do. And I also really, really love to merge all my stuff together and like blend like, here I'll just show you. Okay, we merged this just for funsies right now. Um, so. So, yeah, there's the idea for that one. Okay, so the other way, when I'm super duper uber lazy, I always usually start out with the skin, I don't know why. So, you know, I just go in with that um, brush that you can download, the Gloaming-esque brush. Again, it takes a minute to load, so it can kind of be a pain in the butt, but like, I like this way too, because say you have it on like a specific kind of colored background like that you can get some really cool effects and like i'll start coloring in the hair hold on this is my favorite thing about it i'll start coloring in my hair try to let some of that background color bleed through But I do a lot of the same things still, like come in with a darker color. This is truly like all feeling, just not really thinking about it, just looking and deciding if something looks right or not. I really like this way too, it's just interesting to look at to me. I don't know why I'm always afraid to do this stuff with commissions, like why I think people won't like it, but I feel like my art looks best this way, even though it's so much messier. It helps too that this is my own character and like, I don't know. I don't care if it looks like bad, I guess, if that makes sense. So I'm just blending everything again. I just build it up until it's where I want it to be. But for the sake of this video not being too, too long, I'm gonna not go too crazy. Since we have a pink background here, I'm gonna like try to tie that in with the hair more. And so I'm going to not add a highlight here really. I'm using the background to do that. 
even though it's not wider. And then you can kind of just experiment with what other colors look good in the setting, kind of like that. I'm just guessing. There's probably a lot of colors that would look good, but I'm just going to hang on to this one. See, I'm using the background as like a highlight here, which, you know, looks more like a highlight, I guess, on this darker pink, but I still like it up here too. a lot quicker with all this because if I sit and think about it too much then I'll probably overwork it and that is something I don't want to do. I don't want it to look stiff and like I just overdid it. So yeah um this video is probably getting too long. I think I covered pretty much my entire process when I'm just having fun. If you do end up trying this out and you like it or you did something you were proud of, you can tag me on Twitter at CharmsEachy. Um, I'll write it on the screen and um, I would love to see anything you guys do and thank you for watching. Bye!